Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm super excited because we're basically gonna be doing a super long favorites video. So I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my top three favorites in every makeup category. I actually saw Kathleen Lights and Jamie Page Beauty doing this video and I loved the idea of it. Like the whole concept behind like having three in every category is genius. So shout out to Julia Adams because she's actually the original creator of this video. So I will link her channel down below. But I really love the idea of this because whenever I do Holy Grail videos or like favorites videos, Videos, I feel like I always have like one or two products in every category. I can never just narrow it down to one because I have so many favorites. So I think three is like the perfect number. It really wasn't that much of a struggle for me to like categorize everything into threes, but I have lots of products here, lots of really good stuff. Drugstore high end, you already know. And a lot of these you guys have heard me talk about a million times. And I tried to also include obviously things that I'm currently loving as well, but without giving too much away, cause I'm going to be doing a current favorites very soon, but I do have some things that I'm currently using in my makeup routine that I love. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you grab a snack cause this is going to be a long video, but you already knew that. I'm guessing this is going to be like a 35 minute video that's kind of like my solid guess could be longer could be shorter I don't know but that's what I think so yeah let's just get into it I have a lot to go through lots of products so make sure you guys get cozy and if you are new make sure you subscribe to my channel and click the bell that way you're notified every single time I upload and let's get into my top three favorites in every makeup category okay so I'm gonna start in the order in which I would do my makeup just to keep everything nice and organized so we're gonna do brows eyes face lips. Let's talk about brow pencils. So my number one holy grail brow pencil, which you guys have seen me talk about pretty much all this year, is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. I love everything about this. I love the color, the formula, the little tiny skinny tip. It just makes it so easy to outline, fill in your brows, and just be really precise and get the shape that you want. This is a really good dupe for the Anastasia Brow Wiz, and it's like $10, so like you need it. I have mine in the shade black. All of my brow products, actually, I should say from NYX are all in the shade black. The shade is perfect it's not too harsh but it's like dark enough and it's just perfection so this is what the pencil looks like you can see it is just like the ABH brow wiz I really like this also because the formula it glides on it's not too dry and I think even if you obviously if you just need a good brow pencil it's amazing but if you are a makeup artist and you want to add some good affordable brow pencils to your kit these are amazing they come in a couple different shades one of my girlfriends actually Danielle shout out to her if you're watching this video I miss you and we need to get together but she actually is a makeup artist and she she loves these brow pencils as well. They're in her makeup kit and she swears by them too. So yeah, they're really good. And this is honestly pretty much the only brow pencil that I've been using all year. It is just that good. And I use it every time I do my makeup to outline my brows. Another really good brow pencil is from Flower Beauty. This is the Skinny Micro Brow Pencil. And I have this one in the shade Espresso. This is a really good dupe for the Fenty Beauty brow pencil. If you guys like that, this is literally identical. And comparing this to the next one, the tip like on it is is very very similar the flower beauty one is just slightly slightly more creamy so I really like the flower beauty one whenever I need like a touch up or I just want to kind of fix up my brows a little bit it's a really good formula to fill in your brows with I mean it works really well to outline as well but because it is a little bit creamier than the next one I like it for filling in any sparse hairs that I may have or if I just need a quick little touch up for my brows throughout the day this is a great pencil and the brush on this is a little bit different you can see it is just like the Fenty one with that little tiny brush like this is an exact dupe and the next one now that I look at it it's like slightly skinnier than the flower beauty one but still the flower beauty one is great they're both really good so these are like my current go-to favorite brow pencils at the drugstore and then another one that I really love is the elf instant lift brow pencil so this is much bigger of like a applicator and like a little tip than the other ones that I just mentioned but the reason I love the elf one is because first of all I didn't used to like this before I thought the pencil was way too big but then I tested this out again like two years ago and I really love it for quick makeup days because you don't really have to think about it you just like outline your brows really quickly fill them in and you're good to go it's definitely not something where you can be super precise with it like your brows might be a little bit kind of like fluffier bushier looking because the pencil is a little bit bigger but I really like that look especially if you're doing just really like simple like five seven minute makeup this is quick because you just outline filling your brows spoolie through them I love this spoolie on this and you're good to go also this is amazing I think if you already have really amazing eyebrows and you don't have a lot to fill in this is just something that you can just kind of run through your brows fill in any sparse hairs and you're good to go 
especially if you have like bigger, fluffier, like bushier brows. And by the way, I love big, fluffy, bushy brows. Like that look is everything. So if you have brows like that, you will love this pencil. Moving into brow pomade, I actually only have two in this category and I know not everybody uses brow pomade. I feel like this is so 2015, 2016, but I still do my brows like that. It just works for me. And these two are also more drugstore favorites that I love. So my current favorite brow pomade is from NYX. It is the Tame and Frame Tinted Brow Pomade in again, the shade Black. I've had this for a few months at this point, probably since like the beginning of the year. And mine is definitely dried out, but you can always add a little primer oil if you wanna like get it to be a little bit creamier and then just mix it with a Q-tip and then it's good as new. But this is so good. I actually like the fact that it does get a little bit more on the dry side. Cause for me, I'm super heavy handed. So sometimes you, my brows can look a little bit too harsh if I use a pomade that's too like thick and creamy. So I think this is a really perfect in-between kind of formula cause it's not too wet and it's not too dry. It's just like right in the middle. So it makes it really easy to fill in my brows with the pomade without having them look too harsh. And then another one that I love is the e.l.f. liner and brow cream in the shade espresso. This is also very <laughs> dried out. I have used this up a ton, but I also love this as well. This is a little bit creamier than the NYX one. So if you like a creamier pomade, you will really like this. And I also love the shade espresso. So both of these are honestly basically the same exact thing. This one is slightly creamier and the e.l.f. one is also slightly darker. So whenever I do have like fresh black hair, I like to use like a fresh pomade from e.l.f. because it is a little bit darker than the NYX one, but they're both amazing. And both of these are also under $10. So yeah, these are like definitely my go-tos. Moving into tinted brow gel. Let's talk about that because I am a firm believer in tinted brow mascara. I swear by it. I cannot not wear it. And, and I don't know if any of you guys have experienced your brows melting off your face in the middle of a hot summer day, but I have. So that's why I swear by tinted brow gel. So my absolute current favorite is the NYX tinted brow mascara, again, in the shade black. I really like this because the wand is not too big. It's not too small. It's like just the perfect size for setting your brows, whether you have already amazing, fluffy, full brows, or if you just wanna set your brows after filling them in, it's a great tinted brow mascara. It keeps your brows in place all day, gives them that fluffy look. No hairspray brows here, and it's just a good formula, good color, and it actually works. Like I said, I swear by tinted brow gel, and I usually prefer a tint over a clear because it adds a little bit of color back to the brows and it makes them look really fluffy, and it doesn't remove any of the product that I already have on my brows. So I love this one, and another one that I have which I don't have here with me because the color is always sold out and I completely used it up but I'll insert a picture of it it is the elf brow wow so that is basically an exact dupe for the glossier boy brow it has that really tiny little brush so it's perfect for giving yourself that really feathery like just full fluffy brow look I love the darkest shade that they have but it's always sold out that's why I've been using the next one but that one is another one of my all-time favorites you can usually find that in stores but they normally don't have the really dark shade in stores I usually have to get that on Elf's website, but it is so worth it. It's amazing. Speaking of Elf, I have another product from them. This is their Clear Brow and Lash Mascara. I know I literally just mentioned that I'm not a fan of clear brow gels, but this one is different because it doesn't remove any of the products that I have on my brows already. And I love just like the really simple kind of polished look that it gives to the brows. So whenever I feel like my brows are already looking really dark and I want to set them, but I don't want to add any more darkness to them, I will go in with this. And it's such a good formula. The wand on this is a little bit bigger, so you can see it kind of just fits it's into your brows perfectly and you can just kind of do this really quickly. So again, no hairspray brows here with this. It's a really good, just everyday clear brow gel. It says you can use it here as a mascara as well. I personally don't. So if you're like me and you would just use this for your brows, it's nice because you kind of get double the product in here for a really good price. Moving into eye primer. So this is another thing that I swear by. I love eyeshadow primer and I have actually three that are all drugstore that I also like tend to rotate out that I love. They're all basically the same but this is why I love this whole video concept of having three in every makeup category because it'll just give you guys different options on different brands or maybe you might have tried something it didn't work for you so you have like two other options you know what I mean because obviously everything works differently for everybody so anyways let's talk about the covergirl lid lock eyeshadow primer I discovered this back in the fall when I did a video testing out your holy girl maker products and one of you guys mentioned this to me and you said that it is so good apparently you can only get this at Ulta like online and in stores but it is so worth 
worth it, you guys. This is a really good like Urban Decay primer potion dupe. And it's just a good eye primer. It's not really gonna add any coverage or anything to your lids. It's really just like a traditional kind of, you know, eye primer like this. It's really lightweight. It's a little bit tacky, so your shadows will stick and last all day with it. And it's very seamless and just a great everyday eye primer. I use this with so many different eyeshadow palettes, a ton of different looks, and I really, really like this a lot. But sometimes it is sold out and it is kind of hard to find whenever I do go in Ulta, like they don't always have it. So something kind of similar to this as well that I really love is from NYX. This is the Proof It Waterproof Eyeshadow Primer. This is actually, I would say, definitely waterproof. I have cried before with this eye primer and like different eyeshadow on, and it's like actually really, really good. And I have to say it is definitely waterproof. So if you have maybe super oily eyelids or you struggle with your eyeshadow lasting all day, I think this is also a really good one. And I 100% believe that it is waterproof. And the last eye primer that I have is another affordable one. This is from Believe Beauty. You can get this brand at Dollar General. And this is the Lock It In Eyeshadow Primer, and this is the universal one. So this one has a slight tint to it. So if you do like a little bit of a tint on your lids, you will really like this, but it's the same formula as the other ones that I just mentioned. I really like lightweight eyeshadow primer. So you can see that slight tint that it has. So same kind of formula. This one just comes with a little bit of a tint. So it will cancel out slightly any like little veins or discoloration that you may have, but it's not gonna give you like full coverage or anything like that. It's definitely still really lightweight with a slight tint. Okay, let's talk about eyeshadows. So eyeshadows for me was definitely the hardest category because I really like rotate out my eyeshadows a lot. And there are some days where I don't wear as much eyeshadow or if I do, like I'm using something really simple. I do have also kind of some current favorites as well the palettes that I've been loving and when I was looking through my collection these are definitely the ones that I've been reaching for the most as of recently for like kind of like simple glam or whenever I want to do smoky eyes or something just really neutral but still like you know glam a little bit these are the palettes that I really love and that I have been so impressed with so I actually I have three here but they're the same type of palettes just different colors so technically I really only have two. I have this one and then these palettes. Because so obviously I have so many holy grail eyeshadow palettes, but I really tried to also for today's video pick products that like I'm currently using up a ton. These LA Girl Keep It Playful eye palettes are so underrated, you guys. These are $10. You can get them at Ulta. I believe CVS also has them as well. These eyeshadow palettes are amazing for the price. You get nine eyeshadows in here. You get mattes and shimmers. They're super pigmented, buttery, creamy, easy to work with. I've always really enjoyed LA Girl's eyeshadows, but I feel like these palettes palettes just like elevated like their formula I just got so much better and it's a lot creamier and I mean I always thought it was really good but these are next level they're amazing for the price I'm actually wearing this one on my eyes today this one is in the color playmate and I also mixed in a little bit of foreplay right here so I have both of these on my eyes today these are my kinds of tones the warm burgundy pinky I love these colors and I'm just so impressed by the quality of these this is actually a newer palette I bought both of these at first the warm one and then the cool tone one and then I loved these so much that when I went to Ulta recently I picked up this one and it did not disappoint the quality on all of these is so on point so let me just swatch these and I don't really like to go off of swatches because swatches don't really tell the full story but you guys these are so creamy and this is just me doing like a really tiny little swatch like I dipped my finger in like just ever so lightly they're so nice so easy to blend and another one that I really like if you like more cool tone colors is the downplay palette I actually featured this a few months back I did like a full face nothing over ten dollars and this is the palette that I use and it is so good like look at this there's like crushed foiled eyeshadows in here in some of the palettes and they just look so wet and smooth. I mean, look at that color. This is drugstore right here. So yeah, I love these palettes. These are definitely current favorites. I'm gonna talk about them in my video again, but I just had to mention them because I've been using these also a ton whenever I wanna do like smoky eyes and I actually wanna play with different shades and kind of mix and match. These are the palettes that I really like, especially these two. This is like a newer one that I recently got, but these two, like the combination of both of them together is stunning. And then another palette that I wanted to mention is from LA Girl. And this is just like in general, all of these 16 color eyeshadow palettes that they have, they are a little bit more expensive I will say but they're really really good quality these remind me of like high-end eyeshadow palettes and they come in a bunch of different like color stories this is just the one that I have in the hey hey vacay palette I believe that's what it's called this is also I feel like a really great palette that you could transition over into the fall the mattes the shimmers like the tones in here beautiful so creamy again easy to work with pigmented all the colors in here that I have used they're all just like top tier really good quality consistent quality there isn't like some of them that are better than others like they're all really amazing and I feel like you're getting like
like high-end quality at a really good price. Okay, I wasn't gonna talk about this, but I'm like, you know what, let's just include it. These are the Milani eyeshadow duos, and this one is in Hot Couple. I just did a video on my go-to kind of bronze smoky eye using this eyeshadow duo, and I had to mention it because, I mean, I was gonna mention it in my current favorites, but I wanted to mention it here because it really has been a go-to little eyeshadow duo for like really quick and easy smoky eyes. So there's some days where I wanna do eyeshadow, but like I don't really wanna spend a lot of time on it. I really just wanna focus on the skin more than the eyes, and that's when these come into play. I wanna get all the colors because I love them so much. I think these are great just for really quick glam days when you don't wanna spend a lot of time on your eyes. I have used this up a ton whenever I wanna do like that really like bronzy, coppery kind of look. This is the eyeshadow duo that I used, and it's funny because the colors are very similar to the ones in the LA Girl palette, like similar kind of tones, but what makes you so special is that you can get like a complete look with just these two shadows. Like you don't really need anything else. Just put this color on your lid, this one in your crease, blend it out, smoke it out, you're good to go. It looks like a really more complicated smoky eye than what it is, but really you just used two shades. That's why I like these. I need to get more. I need to go like drugstore makeup shopping and stock up on my favorites because I am running low on a lot of products, but that is the swatch of the eyeshadow duo, again in Hot Couple. They look so pretty on the eyes. They look just like this on the eyes, especially this matte shade. It is so rich and buttery and pigmented. You can really build it up and get your look to be really intense and smoky. Okay, let's talk about eyeliners. So I have two liquid liners here that I am obsessed with that I pretty much go back and forth with. The first one is the Essence Super Precise Long Lasting and Waterproof Eyeliner. This is amazing. I actually feel like this is also waterproof. It lasts such a long time. The best part is this is under $5. Whenever you do winged liner, it just gives you such a gorgeous really black matte look that lasts all day this little brush is so easy to work with it makes for doing your wings also really really easy and like it's so black whenever i do my winged liner it's usually with this and i just love how easy it is to apply it glides on and the formula is nice and black and again it's matte so when it dries down it's not like totally shiny and i just i love how dark it is i love the brush it's so so good if you like a felt tip because i know everybody has different preferences with liners i love the nyx epic ink liner in the shade black this again is just like that traditional kind of pen felt tip it's also very black but i have to say even just like swatching the essence one is definitely much more black. And the Essence one, as of lately, whenever I do winged liner, is definitely my ride or die staple. And I go to it a little bit more often than the NYX one. I like the NYX one whenever I need a good felt tip, but the Essence one, I mean, you can just see that swatch. Like the NYX one gets black as well, especially when you build it up and actually apply it on your eyes. But the Essence one is like next level and it's cheaper. I like to mention both because again, I know not everybody likes a liner like this, but they're both amazing. And I pretty much rotate these out back and forth. I have a couple other ones that I like, but when I was looking through my collection, I'm like, these are the ones that I've repeated purchased that like I always go back to so these are it. So I only have two in the liquid liner category. Now let's chat about pencil liners. So one of my favorite high-end ones is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Pencils. I know everybody I feel like talks about these but they really are that good. I think this is like an OG like classic favorite for me and I love the shade Perversion. I'm actually wearing it on my waterline right now and I like it for tight lining. It doesn't irritate my eyes. The formula just glides on and it lasts a long time as well. I don't know about like 24 hours but it does last a while throughout the day and these come in beautiful shades. So I really, really like this formula. You can just see like how black that is as well. Like just one swatch right there. So it's a really nice, just traditional pencil. And the other two liners that I have been using a ton are both drugstore. So this is the Essence Extreme Lasting Eye Pencil. This one is in the shade Black Love. And this is also, I feel like honestly, a pretty good dupe for the Urban Decay one as well. I feel like the Urban Decay one is lasts a little bit longer, but like this is like three or $4. And this is really good as well. It's like honestly very, very similar also packaging. This is a good dupe, but like I said, the Urban Decay one lasts a little bit longer, but the Essence one is very, very creamy. And I also really love the Essence liner just like this, but in the nude shade, in the shade Silky Nude. It's a great like everyday nude liner that really just opens up your eyes and like makes your waterline really pop. But yeah, this is a liner that I use very often as well, especially whenever I do drugstore tutorials or whenever I just want like a good drugstore liner, this one is it. And then I also really love the LA Girl Shockwave Neon Eyeliners and just like their eyeliners in general, General. They also have their Pastel Dream Auto Eyeliners as well, and I really like these because they come in neutral colors as well as brighter, bolder shades. If you ever want to add a little pop of color on your waterline, LA Girl has a ton of different colors to choose from, and the formula is also super creamy. It glides on, it lasts a while, and it doesn't irritate my very sensitive eyes, so I really love LA Girl liners as well. They've been killing it. Um, I feel like they've always had really great products. Definitely has always been one of my favorite brands, but especially as of lately, I feel like their stuff is just like... 
I just have some mascaras to chat about and then we'll be moving into the skin, which I'm super excited about. Okay, so for mascara, this is a newer favorite. It's the e.l.f. Big Mood Mascara. This is a really good volumizing mascara and I specifically like the more that I use it, I really like it the most for the top lashes because the wand is pretty big. So I feel like for the lower lashes, it makes it really easy to like mess up and get like a ton of mascara like on your under eyes, which is really easy to like take off. You just let it dry and then you take a Q-tip and it just flakes right off. But I usually like to avoid that because it's just like one of those really annoying things when you're doing your makeup. So I feel like this is the best if you're looking for something super voluminous for your top lashes because the wand is so much bigger. So this is what the wand looks like. You can see it kind of reminds me of something from like Benefit or Too Faced. Like it definitely reminds me of a high-end mascara. It's like $6, but it's actually really, really good. It does a really good job, again, at giving you lots of volume, length. It like lifts your lashes up. And this actually shows up on my very tiny lashes, which is a big deal always. And I think I like this one more than their Lash It Loud volume because it's a little bit more of a drier formula. So if you didn't like that one, because that formula is definitely more on the wet side, I think you would really like this one. Especially if you're looking again for something for your top lashes to really make them pop, this is a really good mascara and it doesn't flake. And then another one that I have here is from ColourPop. This is the Act Natural Defining Mascara. I have the black and the brown one. And this one also gives you some volume, some length, but the wand on this is a little bit different. It's a little bit still more natural, I think, than the e.l.f. Big Mood Mascara. The wand is a little bit tinier, so even though it gives you some volume and some length, it's still really good for the lower lashes as well, just to really get in there and give your lower lashes a lot of thickness. This also is a little bit more of a wet formula mascara. It does obviously get drier the longer that you have it. And I feel like with voluminous mascaras, I like that more. Like I prefer a mascara that is a little bit more on the dry side. It's not too wet, by the way, but if you do like more of a wet mascara, less dry, I would go with the ColourPop one. If you like something more dry with lots of volume, I would go with the Big Mood one from e.l.f. And then this is will forever be my favorite mascara and I still use it to this day. I'm actually wearing it on my lower lashes today. This is the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. This for me is just a classic favorite. This has a really, really tiny wand unlike the other, not tiny, skinny wand. Skinny wand compared to the other two that I just mentioned. And this is good for your top and lower lashes. This will make, especially if you have really long lashes, it'll make your lashes look like you have falsies on. Like it is really, really good. It adds so much length and separation and also a little bit of like darkness to your lashes, but it's not a super, super voluminous mascara. It's more so like it looks like your lashes are super, super long and just like very wispy and flared out without the clump. So yeah, I love this one. This will forever be my favorite. Okay, now we can finally move into the face. I have so many complexion products here. So let's start off with primers. So these are my three current favorite primers that I have been just using nonstop that I use pretty much every time I do my makeup. So first I have the Rare Beauty Pore Diffusing Primer. I talked about this in my last current favorites, but I've been using this for a while and I really love it because it's actually one of those like pore filling primers that you can actually see like a difference and like the smoothness and like the texture and everything is just completely smoothed out. I love applying this on my T-zone. It just gives me such a smooth effortless look and like all of my products just look so good over top. You just need a little bit of this primer. Like I do like probably that much, maybe a little bit more, like a pea size amount. And it is so smoothing. The texture of it is really nice. It's almost like a gel. It's so smoothing, but it's not like a silicone primer where it's like all your products are gonna just slide all over the place and it's just gonna make you look really oily. It's not like that at all. It's like actually really smoothing. It's not drying. I also love the fact that you don't need a lot to get that really smooth effect. So even though it is pricier, it will last forever because you just need like a dime size amount. And then these are the other two primers that I have been loving. I also need to stock up on these. Like I said, I need to go to the drug soon, but I swear by these primers. So first I have the Milani SPF 30 primer. This has been like my current favorite everyday primer, especially recently in the summertime, just to get some extra SPF in. It's great for that. The reason I like this so much is because it makes your makeup last, but it adds some extra hydration and it has SPF in it. So it's like literally a triple win when it comes to a primer. It's like everything that I need in the summertime. What I like to do usually is I will go in with a primer water, add this, and then add the Rare Beauty primer over top. Some Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It depends. If I'm doing more like just simple kind of everyday makeup, I won't use the Rare Beauty primer. But if I'm doing more glam looks like today, I use this combo and it's amazing. Also, what I like about the Milani primer is that it doesn't give you a white cast in photos and it's really easy to blend into the skin. Like a lot of SPF can just be really difficult to blend. It looks really white and just doesn't really contrast well with makeup over top. But this is different and I have a little tiny bit left. I don't know if you guys can tell. Like I've used this thing up a lot. Like I love it. And it just feels like a moisturizer 
bronzer when you put it on, but it really does extend your makeup and just makes everything last all day. So I love this primer and like the SPF in it is like genius. And then another primer that is pretty similar to that, it's a little bit more dewy though, is their Supercharged Dewy Primer. If you like the Smashbox Primerizer or if you like the Fenty Hydrating Primer, you will really like this because again, it makes your makeup last, but it just gives your skin the prettiest dew. And this smells like very citrusy and orangey. So it actually has ginseng and citrus extracts in here, but this just really takes your skin to like that extra dewy next level. Your products will just glide on and just look so fresh and healthy and like you're glowing from within. It's kind of like the SPF primer, but definitely this one is a lot more dewy and it doesn't have SPF in it, obviously. And I just love how they feel like moisturizers when you put them on because they just melt into the skin and your face will look so plump and luscious. I'm going to talk about setting sprays since I kind of usually use like primer sprays before and then kind of after my makeup. So I'll just talk about them now. So first I have another Milani product. This is the Make It Last setting spray. Look at how much I have, you guys. Like the commitment is real. You know I have a backup of this. I have a big one right here. This is the big one that you can get usually at Walmart. Certain Walmarts carry it. It's like 13 bucks, but I love the setting spray. This is my favorite drugstore setting spray. I've loved this since it first launched, I think back in like 2017. I've gone through so many bottles of this spray and I love the fact that you can use it before and after makeup. I am a firm believer also in primer water. Like for me, primer water makes all the difference in my makeup routine. And this one is really nice because it's just a neutral universal spray that anybody can use, whether you have oily or dry skin. They also have a dewy one that can be really intense as well. And then they also have a matte spray that is also very intense if you have oily skin. But I just love this one the most because it is so universal and I use this all year round. And then another spray that I love is the e.l.f. Dewy Coconut Mist. So the reason I like this spray so much is because it has a really light coconut smell. So it's like perfect for summer, but it gives you the most natural, prettiest dew. The Milani Make It Dewy Spray can definitely be a lot if you use too much and it's definitely like super dewy. And I love that one, but the e.l.f. one is a little bit more like of a toned down version. So I think for everyday makeup, this is such a good spray that's gonna give you that dew without you looking like greasy or oily. I've been loving this spray also since before it was in this packaging. It was like in this different kind of packaging and I've loved it for years. So this is also a classic drugstore favorite for me. I love it and I will always love this spray. And whenever we're talking about setting sprays, I have to mention my Smashbox Weightless Photo Finish Setting Spray. This one on its own is just amazing. I would say it's a little bit more intense than the Milani one, whereas I feel like it really takes your makeup to the next level. Like it's transfer proof, everything proof, even through crying and everything. Like I'm pretty sure I, this is the setting spray that I used on my wedding day. Like I'm pretty sure. And I cried a lot and my makeup held up for probably over 12 hours. So this spray is everything. It's expensive. This is actually my second bottle. And you guys know I love a good deal. I love my drugstore makeup. And I hate to recommend really expensive stuff to you guys, but this is really good. And it's totally 100% worth the price. All right, now we are finally moving into foundations. This was actually another category that was pretty difficult for me because like I said, I love foundations and I have so many favorites. But the first one that I've been using, which is what I'm wearing today, is the Catrice True Skin Hydrating Foundation. I have this one in the shade 040 Neutral Hazel. It is the prettiest, most full coverage, dewy foundation. A lot of full coverage foundations tend to be really matte, which nothing wrong with that. That's great. But it's like girls and guys with dry skin, like we want sometimes full coverage, but a dewy finish. And this foundation is it. It has the most amazing, beautiful coverage and it's really hydrating and it gives you just this really gorgeous, like natural dew. It's not too much, but it's just enough. I love how buildable it is too. Like if you do want to kind of tone it down, just use a little bit less product, but you can definitely build it up if you have blemishes or something to cover up. Like this blemish that I have right here, it was so red before I started my makeup. And I mean, obviously I have blush on and everything over top but this just concealed and covered up everything. It is really, really good. So if you're looking for amazing full coverage with a dewy finish, you need this. And then another foundation that I love is the Essence Pretty Natural Hydrating Foundation. So this is so skin-like. So this is not gonna be as intense coverage as the one that I just mentioned from Catrice, but it's gonna give you just enough coverage to the point where it's gonna even out your skin tone, just kind of enhance your natural skin. This is the epitome of your skin, but better, but like 20 times better, honestly, because it is so pretty. It's really fresh and hydrating, and it's also very, long wearing but it literally just looks like so skin like and the best part is this is only seven dollars it really is one of the best like lightweight but still like great coverage foundations it's kind of like that tinted moisturizer bb cream moment but it has better coverage than most nowadays because i feel like a lot of skin tints nowadays like they're just that they'll give you your skin a little bit of a tint without any coverage but this actually provides some coverage but still make your skin look like 
a second layer of skin. And the last foundation I wanted to mention is the Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue Foundation. I have this one in the shade 115 Light Medium. It matches me perfectly. The shade range on this is amazing. This is a beautiful, super long wearing, medium to buildable, natural matte finish foundation. I really don't use a lot of matte foundations that much anymore. I definitely prefer something more dewy or like natural, but this does not dry out the skin. And whenever I go in with this foundation, I'm normally using like my favorite primers. So my skin's already really dewy beforehand. So when I go in with this, it looks so natural on the skin. Again, it has that soft matte finish, but it's not drying at all. It feels very comfortable, very skin-like, even though it has great coverage and it lasts forever on the skin like this is one of those foundations where it's not budging it's not moving anywhere if you're wearing a mask or if you got something going on you're talking a lot you're gonna be out for the day this is that foundation to go to and I think it's a great summer foundation as well concealer I'm super excited about this I have three here that I pretty much have in rotation especially as of recently so the first one that I have is the Haley's Beauty rewind blurring full coverage concealer this is the most full coverage concealer that I've tried in a while and I really like it because it's kind of like Tarte Shape Tape I mean it honestly basically is but it's not drying it's so much more creamy you need way less product than you would use with Tarte Shape Tape I love the little metal applicator that it comes with it feels really cooling under the eyes but my favorite way to use this concealer is just using some on the back of my hand and then from there applying it to my skin I just love how full coverage this is and this also has a soft matte finish but it's not drying and the other two concealers that I have are definitely more hydrating but they have a little bit less coverage still amazing of course but I had to mention my elf hydrating camo concealer I love this one so much more than the original it is just such great coverage. I would say it's like a really natural medium coverage. You can build it up. I just love how creamy and hydrating it is under the eyes. This is great for everyday makeup or even for glam makeup as well. Another concealer that I wanted to mention is the Rare Beauty Concealer. So the reason I like this one is because this is so natural under the eyes and it's weird because I never used to like natural concealers. Like I was all about that full coverage, but I think throughout like 2020 and now I have really grown to love really natural skin-like products, so foundations and concealers. And this is one of them so it's not going to give you a ton of coverage but the more that I used it the more that I fell in love with the formula and how it made my skin look because it just made it look really healthy and enhanced but still like super natural I think for everyday makeup this is such a good concealer I love this one it's very creamy this is honestly might be even a little bit creamier than the elf hydrating camo concealer but this one has slightly less coverage I would say than the camo so definitely more on the natural side so if we're talking coverage this is like the order in which it goes it goes from full coverage to lighter coverage now we have some bronzer, blush, highlight. We're like almost there, you guys. Bronzer, blush, highlight. So for bronzer, I am going to start with creams first. So this is another newer favorite for me. These are the e.l.f. Putty Bronzers. These are also very natural. The formula of these is really soft and creamy. It's definitely buildable. You're not going to get a ton of pigment right off the bat when you apply these. You definitely have to build it up, but that's why I like it. So I think if you're just starting to get into cream products or you want to like dive into some cream bronzers, these are a great start. And I like them because you can build them up to get them to be a little bit darker. And I have the shade Bronzed Belle and Tan Line. I like to mix the two to create my perfect bronzy shade and it's such a nice formula It's very easy to work with and comparing these to the cream contour palette that they have which I love that is a lot more pigmented than these So these are so much more natural and buildable than that one That one is just really creamy and just super pigmented right off the bat when you start to apply it I love that one also, but lately I have really been enjoying this formula again because it is buildable and for me Like I'm very heavy-handed So it's nice to kind of have a product where I can control exactly how much I'm using and even if I am digging in and here a lot. It's not going to look muddy on the skin. Another one that I really love is from the brand Half Caked. This is an indie brand and you guys know I love to support indie brands, small businesses, and this one is the Candy Paint Cheek and Lip Tint and this one is in Your So Last Summer. If you have dry skin, like I'm talking super dry skin, or if you love just a good dewy cream product, you will love this. They come in a bunch of different other shades. They also have cream blushes as well and the formula of this is next level. It is such a creamy dewy formula. Like it's definitely super super dewy but it's very pretty and fresh. It makes your skin look very healthy and bronzy. And yeah, I use this up a lot. You can kind of probably see like the dew in here that it has a little bit. It's, it's super, super dewy, but it's really nice on the skin and it melts and it's just... It's so good. And then I always have to shout out my Fenty Cream Bronzer. This will always be one of my favorites. Just something about the formula and like the shade range and everything. I just really love. But yeah, Fenty Cream Bronzer will always be like a classic favorite for me. I just love this color too on my skin tone, 03 Macchiato. I love it. You can see clearly I've used it up a ton. This is just one of those bronzers that like I always go back to. And this also has, I would say, more of like a natural kind of finish to the cheeks. It's not going to be too dewy or anything. Okay, powder bronzer. Speaking of Fenty, I have actually a new color that I'm really loving. It's in Pride 
Private Island. So I love the shade Shady Biz. It's a little bit less warm than this one and more neutral. It matches my skin tone and everything perfectly. It's a great bronzer. I completely ran out of it. I have yet to actually stock up on that. I should get a new one. I just placed an order on Sephora and I forgot. But anyways, I have really been loving the color Private Island because it's a little bit more warm. So I think for summer, it is perfect. I'm wearing it today, but I'm gonna just add a little bit more because I just love everything about it. Again, the formula is so nice and these also come in a couple different colors and I just love how warm it is, but it's not muddy and it's not too warm or too orange on the skin. Like it's like the perfect hint of warmth. And then I always have to mention this bronzer in like every single favorites video, but the Milani Silky Matte Bronzer in the shade 03 Suntan. This is very similar to the shade Shady Biz from Fenty. I feel like it's a really good dupe and I wish that Milani would have more shades in this bronzer because the formula is just so, so good. It truly is just like the name, a silky matte bronzer. There's like no kickback in this. You can like swirl your brush in here a million times and there's no kickback. It is so smooth, but it gives you the perfect color pay off on your skin. It's just so bronzy and beautiful and it's matte as well. So great for contouring. This color right here, 03, is just my perfect shade. And then another bronzer that I wanted to mention, this actually has a bronzer and a highlighter, which I'm gonna chat about later on as well, but this is from BH. It is the Belgian Waffle Palette. I love this palette. I always, again, go back to this because I love the tones in here. These two bronzer shades are perfect for my skin tone, or even if you are my skin tone and a little bit lighter, I think this is a really good palette to have. So BH has great products. I always talk about the brand and hype them up because they really are that good. They have great products at a really great price. Yeah, the bronzers in here, batter, and cinnamon. They're just the perfect go-to kind of bronzers. Cinnamon is a little bit more warm. Batter is a little bit more cool tone, but mixing the two, it just, it's a perfect shade for me. Let's chat about, ooh, wait. I forgot powder. Okay, so I'm still loving the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. Something about this, it is the prettiest, most gorgeous, natural, glowy powder. I love it for the under eyes specifically because it just gives me like a really natural, bright, highlighted look without being too much. And I have this one in the shade Light. I love that they did add some extra shades to this. If you go online, you can see their full shade range in the powder, but the formula is just amazing. It looks great in pictures. It's just a really finely milled powder. It doesn't have any glitter, like shimmer to it, but it somehow it just enhances your under eyes and gives you the prettiest glow and it's eight dollars so a lot of powders like this at the drugstore are just like that are high end they just look like loose highlighters like it doesn't actually look like a setting powder but somehow some way they were able to make this powder and make it look glowy without like glitter or like shimmer, you know? It's just something about it I love. And then honestly, lately, the one that I've been using the most is the Haley's Retouch Soft Focus Finishing Powder. You guys know this is my holy grail. I love it. It is just the perfect powder for me because it's smoothing, it looks great in pictures, it's very blurring, and it mattifies the skin, again, without drying it out. So I like to use this usually with a sponge. Like I'll just go in and just set under my eyes on my T-zone and it just absorbs any oil, any shine that you may have, but still feeling comfortable, hydrating, and still looking really really smooth and not cakey. And I also wanted to mention my Bare Minerals Well-Rested Concealer. So technically this is a concealer, but it's like a powdered concealer. It's really just like an under eye brightener. But I use this over top of any translucent powder that I use just to give my under eyes a little bit more of a bright look. You guys know I've been using this since the beginning of the year this year. Like it's been a while and I use it so much. I went through an entire little container of this. This is another one that I have. I have like two other backups. I do wish they had more colors in this because I know the shade might not work for everybody. They have a couple other shades, but I believe this is the one that is the brightest. The more that you use, the more bright of a look you're gonna get. If you use a little bit less, you're gonna get just a slight little enhancement under your eyes, and it just looks so pretty as like a topper over top of other translucent powders, just to highlight and brighten. If you guys have any other like favorite highlighting powders that you love, let me know. This is all that I've been using because I just love the way that it looks over top of the Haley's powder. But yeah, it's just really, really pretty. I love it also with this brush, the Real Technique setting brush. I've been using this also since the beginning of the year. This combo right here, everything. This brush fits perfectly under your eyes and I feel like if you're going to get this, you have to get this brush. Like this right here, you need. Bare Minerals, please come out with more shades. I'm begging you. 
please. Let's talk about highlighter real quick and then we'll get into blush and lip products. So for highlighter, I have three. I'm just gonna talk about this palette once again from BH. I love these highlighters. These are super buttery, very intense. They will make your skin look like super highlighted and beaming and just, they're intense. You just need a little bit to get like that really beaming look. I love these also for the inner corners. Um, I'm actually wearing this color in the inner corners of my eyes right now. And also this shade Maple. This is a really pretty wearable orangey shade that you can use again as eyeshadow or if you just want to highlight the tops of your cheekbones, look at that color. I really like this because it is a very wearable bronzy orange highlighter. Sometimes I will mix in all three of these and it just makes this really pretty like kind of mandarin type color on the cheeks and it's so, so pretty. And then we have two other drugstore highlighters like Duh. Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. I actually discovered this because of Kathleen Lights and she talked about this in her video, but I discovered this back in like, whenever she was first talking about it, I think it was like in 2016. I remember I was still in college. And when I first used this, I was like, where's the highlighter? Like there wasn't really much there, but that's kind of the point. It's one of those highlighters where you just glow from within. It's very natural, very soft, but that's what I've been loving, especially these days. Even when I have a lot of glam going on, I love this highlighter because it makes your skin look so glowy from within. It is beautiful. They actually have another darker color and they also have a palette with this highlighter and like a couple other shades in it. And I 100% recommend it. Even like swatching it, it just kind of looks like, okay, whatever. But no, when you actually have it on your skin, like do you see how kind of like shiny and wet that looks, but still really, really natural? This will not emphasize any texture, any glitter. So sometimes even like if I'm breaking out or I have a lot of texture around this area and I do want a little bit of a glow, I will just use a little bit of this and it won't enhance that, but it'll give me just a slight little glow to the cheeks. And then I wanted to shout out the Milani Power Up Highlighter Duo. So I talked about these last summer in my top favorite drugstore highlighter video and the reason I wanted to chat about it again today is because if you like wet dewy skin which I feel like is so in now for summer you will love these they come in a couple other colors as well and basically you get a cream on one side and then you get a powder on the other and look just with my fingers like how wet and juicy that looks like do you see that it's like not really like the powder is not really powdery it's just so wet and the cream is kind of like a cream to powder so when you apply the cream you apply it on your cheeks and then it kind of dries into like a really soft really pretty powdered finish but I like to also mix the two as well and it's just like this really pretty kind of bronzy wet dewy glow I would say the cream is definitely a little bit more natural and then the powder is a little bit more intense so mixing the two it's just like that perfect kind of combo finally now we can move into blush and lip products okay now we have some blushes so let's Let's talk about more BH Cosmetics really quick. I love these four color blush palettes that they have. They come in a bunch of different colors. Formula is great, long wearing. So this one right here is the Chocolate Orange Truffle. Look at these colors, you guys. These are like my perfect shades for everyday makeup or like glam looks, just like any kind of makeup that I'm doing. These are my favorite kinds of tones. And I love how buttery and soft these are. They build up really nicely and they're very pigmented. And they also come with a cute little mirror, so very travel friendly. And then I also love the vanilla cream truffle this one's a little bit more pinky but for certain looks it works I feel like even for like the look that I have on today this is very pretty they're matte but they're soft like a really creamy like soft matte finish and they just give you the perfect wash of color that is also buildable if needed and then this is another staple in my collection Milani baked blush and luminose so I feel like this is everybody's staple like most people everybody loves this blush they have a couple other colors as well but luminoso again my tones like this is it and the reason I like this blush is because whenever I'm doing everyday makeup I mentioned to this in my 10 minute makeup routine that I did a few months back but sometimes I won't wear any highlighter and I'll just do bronzer and then just this blush and since it is a baked blush it kind of looks like I'm wearing a highlighter already and my cheeks look very glowy without me having to go in with a separate highlighter it's a good like everyday blush and it's just one of those blushes that also like it just looks good with any makeup look I have loved this blush ever since I was back in high school like little baby jazz when I was like 16 17 it has always been a staple in my collection and then this is a new Newer favorite from Juvia's Place. This is the Blushed Rougie Volume 2 palette. So first of all, this looks brand new, right? Like it looks like I did it, literally did not even use it, but that is because the formula of these, you guys, it is not powdery whatsoever. Let me show you. So I just have a regular little stippling brush here. If you take your brush and you swirl it in here, and like I'm being generous, 
you will get so much pigment, but you'll get no type of fallout or kickback from these blushes. They are so like sulky and they are like, I feel like just pressed perfectly. Like there's literally like no kickback. Like, okay, a little tiny, like a tiny bit, but like, not really it's like magic or something like to be able to swirl your brush in here with most blushes you can't do that the powder is just flying everywhere but this i think this is witchcraft i don't know but it's i like it so no but seriously the blush formula is really nice and i also of course love these tones i like mixing these blushes together and on their own they're really really beautiful and we have cream and liquid blushes to chat about so i wanted to mention my elf putty blushes because these are definitely my most used drugstore cream blushes for sure these are my three favorite colors so this one right here i believe is Bali they don't have the colors on here but I'm pretty sure the darkest one is Bali and then it's Bahamas and then I can't think of the name of these but my kinds of colors right here but I love this formula because it is so seamless you can definitely build it up these just give you the perfect wash of color and this color right here I'm pretty sure this is Bali but I really like this for blush and kind of as like a bronzer type of product as well if you're ever doing like five minute makeup or something you just want to have something quick easy and very like glowy sun-kissed this is a good blush that you you could use as like again two in one blush and bronzer and it just gives your skin like this kind of sunburned look and when I say sunburned I mean like in the best way possible and then we have rare beauty liquid blushes this is probably like the creamiest most pigmented intense liquid blush I've ever tried they're very easy to blend and to really like just work with on your cheeks like you could use a lot and it's gonna look a little crazy but if you keep blending and you keep trusting the process you can make it work with these liquid blushes so these are my two favorite colors I have the shade bliss which is what i'm wearing on my cheeks today bliss is just like that really perfect everyday pink it's not too much it's not too light it's just that classic true baby pink and then the other color that i love is in joy joy is stunning i like joy also in the summer of course but i also really like it in the fall it's so pretty with so many different makeup looks and you can just see these are intense so definitely just use like two dots on your cheeks that's what i use today so two dots on each cheek blended it out and it gives me the perfect wash of color i wanted to mention them because they are expensive but i think they will last a really long time because you just need a tiny bit like a couple dots on your face to get like that really perfect wash of color <sighs> We finally made it to the end and we're gonna talk about lip products. Lip liners. I always say don't spend a lot of money on lip liners. There are so many good brands like at the drugstore, ColourPop, The Lip Bar, Essence, LA Girl. I mean, the list goes on. There's a lot of good affordable lip liners. Top tier, holy grail, you guys already know, NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in the shade London. I have a couple other favorite shades that I love from this line from NYX, but London is my perfect peachy brown lip liner this looks really good with any lipstick like so many different lipsticks I should say you can also fill in your entire lips with this which is what I do whenever I'm doing everyday makeup that is like my favorite way to wear this is like all over my lips with a clear gloss over top it's so pretty it's so comfortable and you have a lot of control over the product because it is wooden so you can really like emphasize your cupid's bow overline your lips you could do it all with these lip pencils and they're four dollars and as far as just like a creamy non-matte lip pencil that you do have to sharpen but that's still really creamy is the LA Girl Shockwave Nude Lip Liner. This one, currently the one that I'm loving is in Maple Glaze, but they recently launched this line of nude lip liners and they have some darker colors. They have some pinky colors, some more brown shades. This is one of the lighter ones. So comparing it to, okay, it kind of looks the same. <laughs> comparing it to London, I would say it's a little bit more on the brown side, whereas London up top is a little bit more on like the warm like orangey side but wow these are extremely creamy they just glide on your lips you can also fill in your entire lips with this and again these aren't matte they're definitely more of like a satin lip liner but i think you guys would really love these especially if you're looking for like your perfect kind of nude so yeah this is a newer favorite of mine i've always loved the la girl wooden lip pencils those are really good but these they just launched i think a few months back a few weeks back and i've really been enjoying them and then for retractable lip liners again there's a lot of really good ones but these are still my favorites. I discovered these last summer, the Milani Understatement Lip Liners. These are the best retractable lip liners. So if you don't wanna worry about sharpening your lip pencils, these are it. They also come in a couple other shades, but these are like the more brown nudes, of course. But I'm using this lip liner today. This one is in Cafe Olay. And Cafe Olay is a lot lighter than the other two that I just mentioned. It's more of like a brown 
still like peachy kind of color. It's the shade right up top, but it doesn't really have a lot of pink to it. It's more brown and just very neutral and light, but you can still, if you want to build it up, you can get it to be a little bit darker on your lips as well. And this next color in Saucy Toffee would look so good if you are tanner than me. It's a really like true brown, but it has like a little bit of that warmth to it. I also really like the combo of both of these together. So I will go in with like a little bit of the lighter shade and then I'll add some of the darker one, feather that in there, blend it out, and then add like a lipstick over top. And it just creates the prettiest like everyday wearable kind of brown nude lip moment. So that is it for the lip liners. Let's move into lipstick. Do I really have to mention it? Artist Couture Lipstick in Saucy Gal. I love everything about this. This is a new one that I have. It's creamy. It's just, I always say, my perfect peachy brown lip combo. So this is a good color that I like in the summertime and I also really enjoy it in the fall as well because I just think it's like a, my perfect nude for all year round, really. Formula is also really nice. It's super creamy. It lasts a while and it's comfortable on the lips and it also fades really nicely as well. Liquid Lipstick, Dose of Colors. That's all I have to say. Dose of Colors, I think, makes the best liquid lipstick formula. I mean, I was so in love with Smashbox and Ofra for a really long time, but now I'm like ride or die for Dose of Colors. So I'm actually wearing that today, and then I added some gloss and stuff over top, but this is the color Supernatural, and I love this, with especially with the lip liners that I mentioned to you guys. Whew, it's such a good liquid lipstick that is the color right there these are so comfortable they're long wearing they're not drying they're very pigmented so you just need one layer and you're good to go and they feel really really nice on the lips last but not least we have glosses to talk about you guys and i wanted to talk about the ones that i'm currently using that i keep putting in and out of my purse whenever i'm leaving the ones that i just constantly use and that is the nyx this is milky gloss this one is in the shade milk and honey this is what i'm wearing today and this is just the perfect peachy gloss like it looks so good with any of the lip colors that i just showed you guys it, it's amazing it's such a good nude these are pretty sheer they have like a slight kind of tint to them but oh look how wet that looks it looks so good but they're very light they're super comfortable on the lips they're not sticky they're creamy i think they're kind of like their butter glosses but they're a little bit creamier they have a little bit more tint to them and they just feel a little bit better the other two colors that i have i have all the shades by the way but these are like my favorites this one is my top top favorite like i need like 30 of these this is the best one but i also really like the shade milk it pink so these look kind of scary in the packaging like this pink looks like okay that's gonna be like a baby pink on the lips but then when you actually swatch it it's so sheer and pretty and it just gives you the perfect wash of color without being too much so very wearable on its own or with a lip liner paired it looks stunning and then i also love cookies and milk cookies and milk has a little bit more pigment to it but still a light creamy wash of color nonetheless look at those nudes i think the names of these glosses are perfect like it's really like a milky light sheer wet juicy lip gloss and they come in beautiful colors so that is officially it for today's video i know it was a long one you guys and if you made it until the very end like Thank you so much, shout out to you because I'm sure this video is well over 30 minutes. If you did make it to the end, comment down below and say, I can't believe you're wearing that. Just to like confuse other people that maybe might not have watched until the very end. But thank you guys so much for everything. I really appreciate it. As always, check the description box below for all the details, what I'm wearing, makeup, and everything that I mentioned because I know it's a lot. These are just holy grails, cult favorites, things that I love and I swear by, especially currently. And I threw in a couple current favorites in here as well just to spice it up because I have a lot of things that I've talked about like a million times on my channel. But I will still do current favorites because I have some other products as well that I have been loving. So stay Stay tuned for that video that's probably coming at the end of the month but yeah i hope you guys are doing well thanks for hanging out with me today and i'll see you very soon in my next video bye Mwah.